Okay, so in here I'm with Sam Kaufman. He agreed to to come to this interview to the dot com interview number three. And I'm super excited here that you are here because I think that he's really gonna help you um, in terms of how you succeed online because he has an awesome business. He was telling me a little bit about about it, and uh, he will pretty much tell you guys what he does online and some of the things you can do as well to see results. So thank you for being here, man. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. So I met I met uh, Sam. It was pretty much in a Facebook group. I don't really know him in person, but we start, we connected through Facebook and he was asking me pretty much what I did. Then I asked him what he, what you did, right? And I I started, I was just like, man, this this guy knows his stuff, right? So so I, he just agreed to come to this interview and share the nuggets, right? Um, kind of tell us your, uh, your story and what you do. But but let's get started by, by asking, how did you get started? What's your story and why did you decide to come to the online uh, online marketing space, right? Okay, so pretty much I'll give you a quick, uh, uh, quick, brief overview. I go to NYU in New York City. Um, I met a buddy of mine. He was a big Instagram developer. He ran a bunch of viral accounts. Um, I started helping him out. He became my mentor. Um, and I brought the. He was doing a lot of spammy shout out kind of advertising. And I saw the vision of more of a brand friendly, you know, bringing in big companies to do more brand friendly advertising that audiences would actually engage with, rather than just, hey, shout out this guy, go follow him, and then you lose a bunch of followers because no one wants to see that kind of content. So um, we started working together. He, I started running some accounts for him because he was really busy with school. Uh, kept going well. Um, I t- took over a few of my own. Started developing a few of my own. I then partnered uh, with another buddy of mine, so that was Chris, the developer. I partnered with my buddy Daniel, who actually started his own company, Vibrant. He sold it for equity uh, to another company. So now we um, are starting an agency called The Most Famous Group. We have about four viral platforms under us. We have at Just Soul on Snapchat, uh, our Indian Kanye West personality. We, have about, we get about 30K views. Um, we have The Most Famous Memes, which is our very viral 6.4 million follow Instagram meme account, which me and my buddy developer Chris have been um, developing for a few years. And then lastly, we have um, at uh, Food and Cuisines on Snapchat, Most Famous Food, our food niche. We're looking to bring on a fashion niche, a pet niche, expand our agency. We're working on our website right now. We have a few one sheets. I'm sure we can throw on the website if some of you guys are interested. So yeah, so that's where we're at. We're learning every day new things, but um, we're running this ad agency, influencer marketing on Instagram. It's going really well. I'm excited to keep learning from everyone else. and. Uh, figuring out what what's good out there. Awesome, man. So it looks like you're you're scaling big into Instagram and Snapchat, as you said, right? Yeah, yeah. Huge, big on Instagram. Getting into Snapchat pretty quickly. We think Snapchat has a lot of potential. So, so why did you decide? I mean, do do you think that's like the perfect way to combine it, Snapchat with Instagram? Why why do you chose those platforms to say? Right. To be honest, right now we're still figuring out, you know, how we're going to combine the different platforms. Because right now we're not on Facebook. Uh, one of our, some of our personalities on Facebook. I like just sold on Facebook. Um, we personally don't run any viral accounts on our own on Facebook. Um, but we see a good combination between Snapchat and Instagram because it's pretty easy to push our Instagram followers to Snapchat because they do want to see, you know, what we're doing in real life behind this page. Right? What's our food account? What's the guy with the food account? What's he eating on his Snapchat story? Um, for our memes, you know, what funny things they've seen in real life. So, hey, go follow our meme account. Um, so right now we're still figuring it out, but we think that Snapchat's going to be huge. So we do want to push most of our viral accounts to Snapchat in addition to having our Instagram accounts. Um, but, yeah, for right now, we definitely aren't sure what we're going to be doing. But Instagram and Snapchat is definitely a good dual start for us. Yeah, yeah, awesome. So how do you, how do you, like, how does the, you kind of explain, generally speaking, what you do, but how does the business work itself how do you make money online, pretty much? Tell people right. how you make money online. So what we do is um, ba- brands and companies will pay us, right? So what we do, I mean, once you see the website, you'll, you'll understand more. We, we're all in one package. We're going to create the content for you. We understand. We've done a lot of research in the memes, what goes viral, when you should be posting, you know, what kind of content, how to make people reshare things. There's certain, it's got to be content that within one to two seconds, you want to take a screenshot and send to your friend. If it's not that kind of meme, we don't want to post it because uh-huh. the advertising is not going to work for you. Um, so then brands will pay us you know, a good amount of money to get, get a meme going for them, get a, a restaurant will pay us to get their food on our food page, um, a brand will pay us to get their product in our Snapchat skits, and that's our business model. Um, we, we, do, we, we do different type of deals. We do retainers. We do one-time fees. We do campaigns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's about that's our model. So it's pretty simple um, if you understand how, what you're doing to get brands and companies uh, um, to get your content. 
Awesome. So, so in a nutshell, it's pretty much you create uh, several Instagram and uh, Snap. Well, I think you have only one Snapchat account for now, right? That's what you told me. We have two. Yeah, yeah we, we have two, 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 two Snapchat, Snapchat accounts. accounts. The, the, the food, food one and the, and the, bar, and okay. the personality. So pretty much you will go ahead and create several Instagram accounts, um, niche accounts related to different topics, right? So right now you have your general account, which is a 6.4 million follower account, which is about memes, right? Viral memes. But you're also creating several. Yeah, accounts. just very broad, funny memes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're developing, developing a few. Um, we're, we're also looking to bring on some others that are already developed. developed. Some, some, some of my buddies who do work online are looking to bring them in. Um, yeah, so, yeah, pretty, pretty much, much exactly. exactly. Okay, nice. So, so the, more, the more topics you have, you know, um, let's say you have an account for cooking, you have another for fitness, another for fashion. Now you can go and, and look for clients that are in that niche and pretty much offer your packages so that they can promote their products, so that they can promote their content within your viral accounts, right? So that they can get eyeballs, pretty much. That's what you do. Right. It's highly, it's it's highly, the, the more niches, niches you can bring in, the more scalable the, the, the business model is because like a, fa a fashion account, fitness account, dog food account, restaurant, um, pro other products, they're going to want to advertise with the audience that they're actually going to get a return on their investment, right? Yeah. So, hey, we have 6.4 million, but how many of those people are actually going to be interested in a fashion page? Probably a lot, but we don't have the exact number. Yeah. For that. If you if we bring in on a fashion account, which we're looking to do with 700,000 followers, we know for a fact the majority of those followers are interested in that topic, that niche. They're going to provide a return to the company's investment by advertising us. They're going to want to follow this the account that wants to do a promo with us. They're going to want to follow that company, what they're doing because of the niche. You know, so the more niches you can bring on, the more uh, horizontal your business model becomes. Nice. So, so I'm guessing you have to set up teams for this because managing different Instagram accounts, Snapchat accounts, you got to have a system in place. So that obviously you're not going to be like, I mean, I'm sure you have a system or team that puts the post, right? So tell us a little bit about the team building, um, the logistics. And because eventually what we want to do in, in this business is obviously we want to make money, but we, we want to have a time freedom, um, right? So right. How, how do you deal with that? Yeah, yeah this, this business, business is tough because, because you know, the money... money He's great, but being on your phone all day is really tough. You know, you don't you don't want to be on your phone all day. Your eyes, you you really just get tired of it. Um, so we have a team. We have people running all of our accounts. We have me, me and Daniel, and our developer. We split up time. You know, communicating with our different representatives. Um, so yeah, our team is pretty developed right now. The, when we bring on an account, we we actually allow them to keep running their accounts. We just consult them and advise them on the content they should be posting. Um, they provide the content before they post, and we make sure it's okay with them. And then we actually give them the freedom to bring in their own brand deals, but we also provide a lot of deals for them. And that's how the revenue is um, is advantageous to them by having us by being under our agency. Nice. So yeah, our team's developed. Um, it's definitely not me and Daniel running the entire thing. We bring in a lot of the deals, but our our own niche niche accounts run run themselves. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's that's sort of I I 100% agree. At least for my online stores. I was like, um, there was a point where I was saying like, man, I'm just trading time for money. Like I was focusing on the, the orders, the customer service and all that stuff. But eventually I just said, man, I got to outsource this. I got to put a team together and that way I'm going to focus on the money producing activities, which in your case, I'm sure it's, I mean, making connections, creating new accounts, logistics and all that stuff. That's what really brings the money. Right. And, and with the clients, right. Getting the clients. Exactly. I mean, a lot of people when they start their own company, they don't they they, they don't want to outsource because they want to have full control. But I mean, the more people you bring on, the more connections you make, the bigger your network becomes. You got to give up some freedom to really to really make everybody win. And actually, you'll actually make more money in the end by by giving up that. It's kind of like an ego thing. You know, you don't want anyone to have control of what your idea and your startup. But the more people you bring on, the more you know, the more hands you have in it. You know, the more the more progress and potential there is. Nice. Nice. Um, and I'm sure, you, I'm sure anyone who's had a startup can understand that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And let me ask you another question. What, what kinds of, of habits do you think people should have in order to succeed online? Because even though, even though this, um, I mean, you're working from your laptop, you have freedom, I mean, or your phone, whatever, you got to have a certain habits to be able to take it to the next level. I think many people just want to make money online, but making money online is not the same as building a business online or, you know, with your phone or something like that. So right. what, what kind of habits do you think people should have to succeed online? Right, so you gotta have a plan, right? You gotta, you gotta optimize your time by, by doing content online. So there's certain times a day when you know, hey, there's, uh, we're gonna drive the most traffic at this time, you know, late at night, early in the morning, have some people on their phones. So you don't only really have to be on your phone all day to, to be successful in this industry to post content. 
You can line up the content, and we have a free few hours. Hey, get all the content you want for the next few days, current events, some funny memes, some good food pictures, some good skits you can work on. Get all the content before, then when you have something busy going on that day during the week, hey, at these three times in a day, I'm going to take that content and post it. So you go really optimize your time based on the, you gotta look into the research too I mean, we've done so much research as to when memes go viral when the good time to post is you know what kind of content's good um so you really gotta optimize your time you gotta stay healthy you gotta you gotta get good sleep you can't be exhausted and you just get frustrated with your phone um healthy i mean fitness is huge you gotta get that serotonin going for you to be on you know working good um but yeah but you definitely do not have to be on your phone all day long to, to run in this business you know Mm -hmm. And, and people, people that do are just not really optimizing their time and not doing what they need to do to make this the best as possible. Okay, so so having a schedule, pretty much knowing, uh, being right. organized, yeah. having a schedule. Uh, yeah. Schedule. Nice. Yeah, hundred percent. Schedule too. And and uh, like having a, a work life balance, as you said, fitness. Um, I mean, hanging out with friends. I mean, we're both very young. At least for me, in my day, I should have um, plenty of exercise. I should have a uh, work done i should i should go outside you know i get every every week i go without with my friends i mean i'm 19 years old <laughs> so i mean right I, right so it's it's not only it's i mean it's a lot of hustle but a lot of uh, balance as well i think that's the key well yeah i mean i mean sure sure you want to you want to you you got to hustle a lot to, and do work your ass off to you know really get ahead of the competitors and make that money, but at the same time, you're 19 years old, we're, we're both 19 years old. The money we're making right now, I mean, realistically, it's probably not going to change our lives. I mean, it could, you know, if our, our business keeps going, but you got to maintain that balance and stay healthy and keep a positive mindset and keep the bigger picture in mind. Hey, how am I going to grow in the future? It's not all right now. You don't need to be on your phone all day. You know, you got to hang out with your friends, get your minds uh, good going, work out, go outside. It's actually, if you keep thinking, you know, you, you can think about better ideas for skits and stuff. So yeah, it's definitely about a healthy lifestyle. You're 19 years Years old, um, you're not 45. You know, can't get food on your table. You know, yeah, we're all very blessed. I'm I sure, can but. completely relate to that. You said that the money that we make now, it's I mean, it's not really gonna make a huge difference. At least me, I come, I come from a from a good family. I mean, not a super millionaire family or anything, but but I mean, I always have everything that I needed. So, so I mean, I, I make money, but it doesn't feel that different. I'm looking more for the long term, 10, 20, 30 years. Exactly. So, so yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, having having a life pretty much as well. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to risk any long-term success by you know killing yourself at this age and getting so stressed out about this kind of stuff. You know. Yeah, that's that's really gonna help people. I'm sure many people um, our age, hustlers. I mean, having a, a work-life balance is big. And last question, man, what would be one tip that you give someone who's just starting out online? Maybe let's let's put uh, two perspectives. Someone our age, right? that is the ones to have i mean their own business i think lately there's been a trend of entrepreneurship everyone wants to have their own business but only a few make it so what do you think is that one tip that you would give someone who's just starting out online or they want to build their own businesses right for young people and then for for adults or or people who maybe right. they are going from a nine to five job and they want to translate into a business what are those two perspectives how can one right thing? Yeah, so I agree with you. Everyone in our generation definitely wants to have control of their own business, be an entrepreneur. The one thing that I experienced, I think, to be really successful, you have to have is you've got to, you've got to meet someone who's really successful in the industry of online marketing already and kind of learn from them. You can't just start off with blindly. You can do some research online, but to really understand what you're doing and get the best step forward, that first step, you know, phase one, how am I going to start this? you got to know a developer. you got to know someone who's already in the business doing well and learn from them. Hey, let me help you out for free for a few weeks. I can learn my ways. got to put in the time and effort. Um, but yeah, I think the number one thing is definitely you got to find a mentor or someone already in the business who can advise you and consult you on how to get started. That, that helped me tons. For sure. And then for someone in their 40s or 50s, I almost say the same thing. You know, if you have a nine to five job, it's going to be tough. You should look to create a team that can help you, but you got to find someone really successful in it already because it's changing so quickly and people who are at the forefront of the industry are really knowing what's going on and the people who are just starting off are kind of just hearing you know, the back end of what's going on, you know, you know what I mean? It's kind of like the wave. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I, I completely agree. When I first started, I got a, I got a mentor uh, for, for at least for e-commerce, exactly. for, for Facebook ads, for e-commerce, then I'm going to Amazon. So what I did... Just so people know what, what they can do as well is I found someone who, who is making a killing in, in Amazon and I told him, hey, why don't you teach me Amazon one-on-one -on -one coaching and I teach you 
uh, Shopify plus Facebook ads. So right. now we're both having one-on-one -on -one coaching both ways. I'm learning Amazon. He's learning um, e-commerce and Facebook ads. So as long as, I mean, you have something to teach um, or, or if you don't know have the skills in the beginning, you should get the money and just get a mentor, right? Or at least to have someone that guides you in the right direction because time is right. money, right? Right, exactly. 100% agree with Sebastian, yeah. Awesome, man. So, yeah, thank you very much for being here. This has been a great interview. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Pe people are age. Um, they're going to have a good direction here. It's really interesting. Their business model, never heard it before. It's kind of like a solo ad, but with Instagram and Snapchat, two huge platforms that are going very fast. But, yeah, man, thanks for being here. And I'm just going to post it in my in my show page. I'm going to post it in my mastermind group. And uh, where can people reach, reach out to you? I mean, if you, you want to learn more about you, your business, your websites, can you give us some sort of places where they can go yeah so if you want to add me on facebook my name is sammy kaufman you can message me any questions you want to do some work together we're always open to collaborating and then for any business inquiries you can reach us at the most famous means at gmail.com the most famous means at gmail.com and then again add me on facebook if you want to talk to me personally um yeah those are the two platforms you can reach me on i'm very happy to talk to anyone and be open to collaborating awesome man awesome so yeah thank you very much and have a great day man thank you very much all right thank you bye bye